10. New at 10, he caused a SWAT team standoff in Shorewood. Now the man who shut down Oakland Avenue for hours will not face any charges from that chaotic afternoon. Marquise Chapman says he did nothing wrong that day and he didn't hear police pounding at his door. But the Shorewood man isn't off the hook yet. Annie Scholes talked exclusively with Chapman tonight. Annie. Well, Chapman may not be charged for the standoff in June, but he is being charged for a domestic violence incident police say came to light while they were investigating that standoff in June. Chapman insists he has done nothing wrong. This was the scene in Shortwood, June 21st, when police say Marquise Chapman and his girlfriend Sharon Allen were holed up in their apartment, refusing to come out for hours. To this day, Chapman says it's all a mistake. I have not did anything, and it's like I paid bond to bond out. I have not been processed. Uh, I don't know what's going on. This is like a complete everything's all messed up. Chapman and Allen were arrested, but the DA decided not to charge them. At least not for that. Police say what the couple said to each other on the phone while Chapman was in custody led them to investigate another incident. I guess they were charging you with two misdemeanors for an incident at the bus stop in February. I have no idea what they're talking about. I was not at the bus stop. But according to the criminal complaint, Chapman and Allen talked about the February incident in which he hit her in the face. And despite witness and officer accounts, Allen tells me it didn't happen like that. We have had nothing to do with my boyfriend at all. He wasn't even around when it happened. And after all this, Chapman claims he's the real victim here. And I'm finna move at the end of the month, so they won't have no problems with me. And he faces battery and disorderly conduct charges, which are both misdemeanors. Reporting live in Shorewood, Annie Schultz, today's TMJ4. Annie, thank you for that update.